I'm here to take you through workflow for production, which I use as a model for teaching here, and it's the model that the industry use. And it's a model that can be adapted to whatever scale of, pr of production effectively, you know, whether it's a multi-million pound feature film or making no budget, wonderful creative um, films on tiny little flip cameras. Five key stages, development, pre-production, production, post-production, post and exhibition and, and or distribution. In the development stage, the important thing is to think about the idea of, for your film. First of all, this usually takes the form of getting your children into groups and discussing various ideas. So a proposal is just one or two lines, really, just a very short couple of sentences describing what your film is going to be about. The next stage after you've written the proposal is to pitch that proposal to the class. It's something that the industry professionals do all the time. You know, you're in the context of the industry, you're looking at uh, securing funding or finance for your film. So the pitch in invariably is, is um, a sales pitch. But in the context of a classroom, it's a very useful exercise again, and it's a fun and engaged and up on its feet kind of exercise to get <coughs> kids thinking about, talking about, and being prepared to answer questions about their film idea. And once the idea has been secured, you've written down the proposal, you can move on to the next stages of script writing, storyboarding, and short lists, sound lists, production planning. So you have the kind of creative side with the script writing, the storyboards, the shot lists and the sound lists and then you have the nuts and bolts, the production management side working out who you need to be, where, where you're going to film things, when you're going to film things, what equipment you need. And then of course stage three is the production itself in real world terms, development and pre-production. Development can take, with feature films, can take years and years, pre-production can take months and months and a shoot can take a few weeks. The preparation side of things is, is really important and it's kind of what I'm stressing today. With this really easy access, easy recording equipment such as these flip cameras, anybody can go out without a moment's thought and record something. We're looking for a little bit more than that. We're looking at you know, a developed kind of substantial idea, hopefully, that's had good research, good planning and preparation. And obviously with kids, you know, they, they get very excited about the prospect of filmmaking. They, of, they often just want to go out and film straight away. By sort of forcing them to slow down and think through their ideas, you will end up with a much um, more substantial, um, more interesting um, project at the end. Stage four, post-production. So this is a stage, obviously, where you edit your film. And then finally, of course, stage that shouldn't ever be forgotten about. There's not much point making a film unless somebody's going to see it. Obviously, with this particular project, you know, you're making these films specifically for a particular event, this competition. But depending on how the selection process goes for that, even if all of your um, class's films don't get selected for the competition, of hopefully you'll have a chance to screen them in your assemblies or show the work in some other context um, to give every, every um, child a chance to get their work seen and have a little bit of critical feedback. So... How you do that, it's important to think about how you do that, whether you're going to be saving your um, film to a QuickTime file or WMV file or putting it onto DVD, and how you, um, so what formats you need to think about for screening and for archiving your work. 